All right, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Pegasus Attempts to Solve Your Problems, okay? A lot of you asked me a bunch of questions. I don't know why me, because I clearly have zero life experience, but uh, I guess you have um, no one else to turn to, or maybe you're just looking for some answers from an outsider. So here we are. I just want someone to notice and love me. Every day I wake up and I feel like no one outside of my family love and pays attention to me. Okay, so first off, you said outside my family. so. I assume your family loves and pays attention to you, and that already is more than a lot of people, so make sure to cherish that and keep them close. Now, as for the other people, well, um, relationships are built with time and effort, right? That's that's probably why you're really close to your family, because you spend a lot of time with them, right? It's hard to get to know random people who you only see like a couple minutes a day, and it's hard to establish these proper connections with them. But let me just say, if you're interested in someone, may maybe take the leap and try to talk to them more, like whenever you see them in class or something. Maybe they feel the same way as you, and they just want someone to know them as well and they want someone to talk to I mean uh, I feel like uh, you'd be pretty happy if someone came out of the blue and started talking to you so why don't you do that for someone else right and you know maybe you'll form a form a good relationship if not you can just try again you know maybe karma will reward you for making people's days right oh god my, my mother doesn't allow me to edit or post video even after I finish the study screen time will decrease your IQ okay listen I don't mean to be rude but it seems that your mom has a lot of screen time if you know what I mean but okay she's clearly a boomer um maybe try pulling up google and you know show her that hey screen time actually doesn't decrease your IQ science says that it's completely fine but um, if she doesn't care and she's super boomer, which I understand, I I've been in that situation before, and she just completely ignores you, um, try to find a way to do it anyways. Like, it's probably hard because you live with her, but maybe work like extra hard in school, do extra well in school and show her that, hey, I've actually earned this. Maybe make a deal beforehand that if I get 90% in this next exam, you have to let me post videos. And yeah, I, I know it sucks because, you know, normal parents would just let you do it anyways and you feel frustrated. But if you're in that situation and you can't change it, you have to try your best, okay? How to find motivation even when you're feeling down. Also, I really like your content to so keep up the good work. Will do. Motivation when you're feeling down. This one's a hard one and everybody suffers from this, right? We all get the downs, but it's just a matter of like pulling yourself together, you know? Like sometimes urgency does the trick. Like if you got a test tomorrow, it, it really really doesn't matter how sad you are, your teacher doesn't care, you will get marked just the same, right? So that kind of puts it into your head that I don't care, nobody cares that I'm sad, uh, I, I better do my work right now. So maybe create a situation of urgency for yourself, like to trick yourself into getting in gear. It obviously doesn't work all the time, but for me personally, like when I get really down uh, and like unable to do anything, uh, it happens like almost every other day to be honest, but I just get up equally fast, like 30 minutes ago, I could have been completely depleted, sad, wanting to jump out my window for some reason, God knows, but then something happens, it's just like a switch, like, I don't know, I, I distract myself with like a sweet video, a cool episode of anime, maybe just tweet out something, maybe sleep, maybe eat some delicious chips or something, and I just kind of forget why I was sad, and then you just keep on going, you know, you just kind of distract yourself, and then you come back stronger. Okay, moving on, so my parents told me that I could get a pet. My mom's a dog person and my dad prefers cats, so they gave me the choice between a cat and a dog. I've been scouring through the pet shelter so that I could adopt a cat or a dog that I could actually care for. Should I get a cat or a dog? I mean, this one's pretty easy. Like, um, first off, you, you shouldn't get a pet based on what your parents want, right? But if you're being restricted to a cat and a dog and you still want to get a pet, um, you, you know, you, you should just judge which one you like better. D don't ask your parents to say, do you like a cat better or a dog better or what type you like, you know? Just, um, yeah, follow your heart, I guess. I mean, I can't decide for you. I'd get a dog, okay? How do you get enough sleep at night so my whole day isn't messed up? Okay, first off, you gotta understand that not getting enough sleep is pretty bad for you. So make it a priority, okay? Like, eight hours a day is about perfect. You will quite literally die if you keep up your bad schedule. 
So um, how do you do it, right? The, the Pretty much the same way you find time to brush your teeth or shower every day or go to school. You pretty much make time for it and you don't take no for an answer, right? The reason you don't get enough sleep is because it's probably the last thing on your list and it's not a top priority. Everyone's just kind of like, oh, sleep, whatever will happen. It's the last thing, you know, but it should be up on your list, right? It's important because without sleep, you can't function in tip top shape, you know? How do I explain to my Asian parents that life isn't all about studying and getting good grades. You don't, you just give up, okay? <laughs> okay, listen, um, some parents are open to reason and some are not. You have to, like, figure out wh what category your parents fall under, and you have to show them that it's not about studying, right? Through either, like, brute force, like how I had to do it, pretty much what I did was literally hide YouTube from them for years and years, pretend I'm talking on the phone to my friends, but actually I'm just talking to myself making videos, and then finally, after all that toiling, you finally earn an income, and they're like, hmm, I'm still skeptical. So, yeah, essentially it's for nothing. But, okay, no, I did kind of change their minds a lot. So, it, it takes a lot of work. I don't, I don't know what specific situation you have or what you want to do, but maybe, maybe if you want to play sports, show them how fit you're getting by playing sports. Tell them how good you're getting at that sport. Tell them how good you feel when you play that sport, you know? Try to show them that these different hobbies are positive impacting your life because you know they care about grades but they also care about you so if you're if you're happy they they should technically be happy too how do I stop having so many regrets okay so you're always gonna have regrets right because in life um you don't, you don't know what would happen if you chose the other option right you can't go back and relive the other options but just know that the grass is always greener on the other side and it, it's always gonna look like you made the wrong choice okay let's take an example right right? You have a choice. Move to Australia to get a higher paying job or stay with your girlfriend and you don't know if you're serious yet, right? You might move to Australia and then say, oh my god, what did I do? I That sucked. I should have stayed with her. Or you may stay with her and then say that, oh, I should have gone for the money. It was such a great opportunity. Either way, you don't really know what would happen if you chose the other option, right? Maybe she gets cancer. Maybe your boss gets cancer, right? Like, you're like you don't know what's going to happen, so you don't need to get angry about it, okay? Okay, just 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 know that you'll always think the other side is better, but it's not. It could be much worse. Okay, there is absolutely no reason to have regrets, and they just kind of hold you back. Okay, just just keep looking forward. Okay, we got another classic question: How can I make myself truly happy, genuinely? Okay, so I've been looking for this answer for way too long as well. The m the more you look for it, the more it avoids you. Okay, so just try to enjoy the little things. Pretty much at this point, I know that I can't be happy twenty four seven, and the default emotion is just nothingness you know just kind of like normal and that's okay right I, I know a few select things that will un undoubtedly reliably give me happiness like good food anime games making videos and I just try to stick to them right you stick to whatever you've got and if you don't know what makes you happy, you just have to keep searching, you know? Life is super long. Try try new things and maybe you'll find it. What to do if you get friend zoned asking for a friend? Okay, listen, I, I personally feel like friend zone is so misrepresented in like movies and stuff because I feel like it's the best place to be, right? Because being friends literally means you can spend time together and get super close and literally just become better and better friends. So maybe even best friends. And then if you're lucky, Lucky, you, you become even better than best friends, you feel me? Listen, if she thinks of you as a friend, you pretty much have two options, right? You either give up, or if you truly like her, you probably wouldn't give up, right? That, that doesn't mean be like creepy and force yourself on her or some garbage like that. Be respectful, but you know, don't give up. Sometimes it takes a day for the connection to happen. Sometimes it takes years and years. Sometimes it never happens at all. It's pretty much up to you if you want to take the risk or you just want to move on. All right, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you enjoyed, blah, blah, blah. Let me know if you want to see more Pegasus Helps kind of videos and let me know if it actually does help or I'm just mumbling here. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.